in Apple? <laughs> no, I don't have any shares. Yeah, it's just a side hustle. Yeah, it's purely a working relationship. They offered pretty good payment and I didn't have any projects on my hands at the time, so I said yes. Thanks, yeah, that was in London. Yeah, it was a really hectic week. I mean, we worked 12 hours a day, seven days a week, sometimes even up to 16 hours. It was really exhausting. But I mean, the final product is worth it. Oh, my boyfriend? Yeah, we met during my talks with Apple. Why? Of course we're still together. He doesn't mind. He knows that it's just work. You know how long and hard I've had to work to create this successful career? If I didn't dedicate myself to my craft, do you think I'd be in this position that I'm in now? So yeah, it doesn't matter to me at all if they accept it or not. The story demanded that I have sex on screen, so I did. I didn't have any rules about not appearing naked. Those other movies just didn't need it. I can't turn down a great movie just because that there are explicit scenes. How many other actresses would get to play such a complex character? I respect and love the art of filmmaking. And when you watch the scene, you'll see that the director is making art full of love and passion. It's not a porno, which is full of nothing but lust. Unlike porn stars, I'm a person with values. Thanks. Yeah, they're mine. I, I like them a lot too. Why in the world would I wear somebody else's shoes? I'm pretty adventurous. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. No, not everybody can rock climb and not everyone can be a politician. You either do it for fun or you have guts to do it. Or both. Yes, you have to be strong at heart and at the same time not care about what they say, you know? One day they say, whoa, Jade is amazing. Her work speaks for herself. And the next day, if I try something new, they say I'm trash. Experimenting, that's the key. Otherwise, you wouldn't know what people want. Everything I do is to serve the people. Getting enough experience is how I serve them well. I'm just lucky that we both want the same thing. It definitely takes time to get noticed. That's what I always tell myself. If you serve them well, they spread the word for you. Then the big fish come looking for you. And that's how you grow your reach. That's ignorant. I don't regret any of it. I'm someone who's crazily in love with and can't live without sex. I chose my profession out of love. With this profession, I'm actually helping a lot of people who can't find sex in their own lives. And I'm the most honest person there is who's not hiding anything in front of the public, unlike actors who portray that they're one thing, but behind the scenes they're actually something else. But I'm the same, on work and off work. They know me in and out. I'm making fantasies of millions of people come true. That's what gives me satisfaction in my work. Of course I do it for the money, who doesn't? But I enjoy each and every moment of what I do. I live every moment to its fullest. How many people can say that, huh? And I'm only selling my body for money, but I'm not selling myself and my soul. And like uh, those sugar babes or trophy wives who make contract-based marriages exclusively for the money. Of course they're mine. I bought them with my hard-earned money. What? Do you think I have to marry a rich guy to get my shoes? Gold digger? Who said that? What a derogatory name to call someone. That's ignorant. I am not leeching off of anyone for their money. Survival of the fittest. This is a very practical world. You can't just live in some fairy tale land. You have to make practical decisions and do things with your own hands. Whatever it is that you want. Fame, recognition, acceptance love, 
family, money. You should make it happen. Things don't just fall out of the sky and no angel or knight will come into your life with rose petals. If there's one thing that we can learn from successful people, it's this. Strive for it and work for it. And that's what I do. Yeah, money has its perks, but that is not the reason why I married my husband. I want a secure life for myself and my future children. I have seen fathers that fail at being providers and how it affected the children and the wife. I do this for the sake of raising healthy-minded children with no trauma and no mental issues. I want to provide them with everything that they need to live a happy, successful life and with the tools that they need to further society. And of course, I'm gonna eventually fall in love with the man that I married. But most importantly, I want to live my life being a proud mother to the children that possibly are gonna change the world. Unlike those children that turn out to be lazy bums and a burden to everyone around them and to humanity. Yo, I know my bum, yo. What do you want me to do? What can I do? I'm not rich or handsome or talented, yo. I admit that, right? At least I don't interfere in others' business and point fingers at them. I'm not scum. Unlike Yeah, they are my shoes. Who else's would they be? I would never wear someone else's shoes. That's not cool, yo. Just because I'm lazy and incapable doesn't mean I can't have my own shoes. I may not have much else, but I got my own shoes, yo. Now, let me ask you this. Are those...